Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 85 of season 4 of My Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Whew. Jesus. I literally want to punch him in his fucking face. <laughs> I literally forgot about you. Yeah. 
that's the end of these ladies. Fuck. See, this is why a teacher should have went with him behind. None of this would have happened if a teacher would have went with him. I'm just saying. Like, anybody's in there. You think you should have <laughs> I know, he's fine. Exactly. So just let her use it now. It's sad for her, no matter what. She's just like a depressed little thing. You just feel bad for her. It's <laughs> fine, it suits you. You can't hate her. I mean, I swear, if there are people who dislike her, oh my god, she's so precious. It's gonna make me cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
which is still one of the most interesting quirks of the show. Like, I never thought that this would come up, especially when I was reading it, and I was like, what? Damn. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Oh my God, just my heart with her. I can't. But you didn't, did you? Mm. You killed him. You didn't need to, it was just an accident. But... Cause see, like, okay, this all kind of reminds me of like a little bit of um, oh god, like the the ish and the Incredibles, the first movie. Mm -hmm.
but she's not backing down. Nope. I feel like I'm watching like one just random episode of Jack and Paul season the way it's going. I don't know why. It's been a while since I've seen the show anyway. You better pay attention to him instead of her. She doesn't care though. And even if she did escape, she probably would have been caught. Oh my god!
Okay. God, after tearing up like several times, she's like, I think now, no, because there's a couple more episodes that, like, chapter wise. This episode, or really this chapter overall, was the reason why I fell in love with LaBrava. I mean, she's a girl who has always been on her own and shy, timid, and to express herself to someone who she loved, and then for them to resent her feelings. And she ends up becoming depressed and she goes home and she doesn't go to school anymore and she's on her own. And then she finds gentle and gentle with her life. Um, her light loved him, idolized him, was like her world. And if anything happened to him, that's it. She's done. Like there would be nothing else for her to do. So if he like, cause there was a point where I think when I was reading the manga, I was like, if, he got taken in, which is happening. She would have immediately gone with him, but I think it's up to the point where I don't think she gets arrested. I don't remember. It's been a while, but even seeing his backstory after he graduates, so, uh, seeing that he's not successful and the only thing that he could do was turn into a villain, I get that. These two had very sad points or moments in their life and they found each other and made each other better for what it had to be. <laughs> I will say this, and I've kind of been thinking about this for a while, like ever since, you know, once Gentle and LaBrava were gone at, after this next episode, I kept thinking, like, maybe there's going to be a point where they possibly could come back for some weird reason. I don't know where in the manga what's happening currently, because, like I said, I haven't read this manga in, like, two years, because I've been, like, mm, other way, little bits and pieces. But um, a lot of people have, like, kind of, told me, uh, not really spoiled me on stuff, but they say it, it's getting even better from where I stopped. Because I, I think I stopped around, like, the Shigaraki stuff and his backstory, which was, like, the best thing for him. And I was just like, oh my god, that, that was everything. And I just cannot wait until that gets animated. Hopefully next year. If it's not next year, the following season after. Who knows? But the biggest thing, because the way they end it for both La Brava and Gentle, especially with Gentle because of the fact that he's not going to go to jail. We don't know essentially um, what they're going to do with La Brava because they kind of left it. He he left it, Hodokoshi he left it in like an air of mystery for both of them because even though, yes, we know Gentle's going to jail, what are they going to do with her? They're going to also put her in jail in a maximum security prison or whatever for the rest of her life until she dies and such. I mean, this is just still a young girl and so you just feel bad for her so they might maybe leave her off with like a warning or something but I feel like there is something more for her maybe like her life after the fact is that Gentle is now not in her life anymore but she could possibly still go see him maybe she'll fall in love with someone else obsessively I'm not 100% sure I just she's one of those like they're like one-off characters in a way and I'm just hoping that they get something else. Like, I feel like they could be redeemed maybe later on in this show. I'm not 100% sure. Who freaking knows? It? It's not the Hodokoshi at the end of the day, no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes 85 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 85. Bye, guys.